welcome to Intercultural Peace Concert. You're going to listen to choirs from all over the world. You will have choirs from the United States, from Greece, South Korea, uh, Kosovo, from Latvia, Venezuela, and South America. A magnificent concert with great choirs. Before we listen to the choirs, I will pass the floor to our president, Mr. Günther Titsch. Liebe Freunde der Chormusik, ich freue mich, Sie zu diesem zweiten World Peace Singers Friedenskonzert in diesem Jahr begrüßen zu dürfen. Die Welt hat sich in den letzten Monaten stark verändert. Neben Corona und Naturkatastrophen herrscht ein schrecklicher Krieg inmitten Europas, der uns alle in Atem hält. Aus diesem Grund senden wir mit diesem Konzert ein Symbol für Frieden, Freiheit, Zusammenhalt und Verständigung in die ganze Welt. Wir danken allen, die unseren Aufruf gegen Gewalt folgen und sich für den Frieden einsetzen und uns unterstützen. Mit unserer Musik Singing Together bringt Nations Together, stehen wir an der Seite aller Sängerinnen und Sänger und aller Menschen auf allen Kontinenten, die sich nach einem friedvollen Leben sehnen. Wir wünschen Ihnen mit unserem Konzert Freude und Besinnung zugleich aber auch Zuversicht und Kraft für die Bewältigung der vor uns stehenden Herausforderungen. Alles Gute und bleiben Sie gesund! The of Pretoria Tux Camerata will be performing Martin Luther King or MLK as arranged by Bob Chilcott. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful piece about togetherness and uh, it's kind of an ode to the life of a great, great man, Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and this piece really is a symbol of what it is to be equal, regardless of who you are, where you are. Um, and it's, it's just such a beautiful piece And I think it's kind of like, especially when the words are sleep tonight, we can rest peacefully because a man like Martin Luther King has done all that he can to try bring the world together. And I think Nelson Mandela is, is kind of like our Martin Luther King here in South Africa. Um, so it's wonderful to be able to represent a song um, that brings people together, just like Martin Luther King did in America all those years ago. Um, it really is just sleep tonight. Um, and may your dreams be realized. The dreams of a man that believed in a world that one day did not see division, whether the division was through color, through um, your sexual preference, through your race, if you're male or female, just a world where people are seen as people and not classified into groups. Um, and one man made a statement where he said, you know, this is what I believe in. He stood up for what he believed in, for equal rights for all people, regardless of which country or culture you belong to, what language you represent, what food you eat, what music you listen to, but people for the sake of being people. And this is kind of like a thanks that the world gave to the voice of Martin Luther King by saying, you can rest now, you can go because you have taught us a lot. We'll take this further and we will continue this fight that is one of equality for all.
this lyrics show very important thing. The lyrics mainly are are uh, tell, telling about uh, the soul, how the soul should be, and its combination is similar like clear water from the creek. How the clear water have to work and make your soul more bright. greatly honored that we could join in this peace concert and wanted to share with you why I love this uh, song so much. It's a, a pairing of two different songs by Craig Hilla Johnson, I Love You and the popular What a Wonderful World. And uh, when we performed this, uh, the audience has just been so overwhelmed by the, the feeling of love and peace. And I feel like for us to achieve world peace, it's going to have to begin with ourselves, with each individual learning how to love and be a good neighbor to others. And uh, these wonderful words in the text, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. And I think we can never hear those words enough from each other. I love you, I love you, I love you. And so I send uh, my expression of peace and love to all of you and hope you enjoy this. Bye-bye.
Um, I thought that the consequences of the war in any historical period uh, are the same. So people lose their homes, their jobs, their own people, and their lives become a living hell. So I believe that this Byzantine hymn, who was sung by the Greek congregation in Hagia Sophia Church during the Ottoman invasion and saved the Greek nation from the suffering of the world, can also function this time as a hymn symbol that will bring peace to all people of the world. And it is a place where we can spread peace and love and humanity and music and art. The universal language of music can only unite people, this is what I believe. History has shown that in times of joy, peace and brotherhood, people sing. Singing unites the soul, languages, hearts, nations and religions. I cannot think of anything closer to the idea of peace than singing together.
When I read the invitation, I realized that this concert <coughs> does not only mean to sing about peace, but also to sing about suffering and anguish, which are lack of peace, and that will invite us to think how to make peace possible.
composer of the piece Pax, which was dedicated to the World Choir Games, and it was performed there from my choir, Separanto Choir from Kosovo. The piece is uh, written in two words. Uh, the first one is uh, Pax, which means uh, it's a Latin word, which means uh, peace. And uh, another one is vit Vita et Pax. It means life is peace. In fact, uh, it was the first time that uh, Kosovo is uh, being part in uh, World Choir Games. Mm -hmm. And uh, we represent our country for the first time. Uh, we performed that song uh, for the first time in uh, World Choir Games in the competition as a world premiere. And after that, uh, we met a lot of people there. And the winner in category Musica Contemporanea, Siparantum Choir from Kosovo, conducted by Memli Kelmendi. Even now, we are in different kind of situation, as you see the war in Ukraine. And I would like to dedicate this piece to all the victims on the world. So we, we should live in a better future and we always think for the better future. And everyone in the world needs to be free, need to, to live in peace. This is the idea. Dear friends, it's my pleasure to thank all participants for this wonderful peace concert. 
in these days, peace and health is so important and valuable for our life. Music is a symbol of unity, brotherhood, understanding and peace. I'm very proud of you and your music for peace. Stay safe and I'm very happy to see you again in the next Peace Concert.